In this video, we try to understand the difference between probability and likelihood with a simple example. To explain the difference between a probability function and a likelihood function, we'll here have a look at the binomial probability distribution for tossing a fair coin eight times. For example, if we toss a fair coin, then the probability of tossing a head or a tail is 50%. From the binomial probability distribution, we can find out the probability of tossing, for example, one head out of eight tosses. This is the binomial probability distribution, which illustrates the probability to get a certain number of heads if you toss a fair coin eight times. We see that the probability to get one head out of eight tosses is only about 3%. Whereas the probability to get two heads out of eight tosses is about 11%. The probability to get three heads out of eight tosses is about 22%, which corresponds to the probability to get five heads out of eight trials. The binomial probability distribution can be generated by the following function, where k is the number of successes, or the number of heads in our case and n is number of trials, and p is the probability for a success. In our example, we used fixed values for the parameters n and p, which were set to 8 and 0 0.5. This means that we toss a fair coin 8 times. To generate the probabilities as shown in this figure, we change the value of k from 0 to 8 and calculate the probability for each k, which is the number of heads in this case. However, if we fix the value of k to, for example, 4, and now change p from 0 to 1, then we will get the binomial likelihood function, which shows how likely it is that p takes a certain value given that we have observed 4 heads out of 8 tosses. This is a function of the parameter p given a set of observed data. For example, the likelihood that we have a fair coin, which means that p is equal to 0 0.5, given that we have observed 4 heads out of 8 tosses, is about 0 0.27. This is the same value as we would get from the probability function for tossing 4 heads out of 8 tosses, since the parameter p is equal to 0 0.5 in that function. If you change the value of p to, for example, 0 0.8, the likelihood will be reduced to 0 0.046. The likelihood that the value of p is 0 0.8, which means that the coin would result in 80% heads, is low, because we have observed 50% heads. If we set p to 0 0.5, we will get maximum likelihood, given that we have observed 4 heads out of 8 trials. Note that the likelihood function is continuous since p can take any values between 0 and 1, whereas the probability function in this case is discrete, that can only take integer values between 0 and 8. Here are some notations that are used when it comes to calculating probability and likelihood. This notation represents the probability of observing a certain outcome for example, four heads out of eight tosses, given a set of parameter values, for example, that we have a fair coin where the probability of tossing a head is 50%. In contrast, this notation tells us the likelihood for a set of parameters, for example, the probability of tossing a head, given a certain outcome. For example, if we have observed four heads out of eight tosses, it is most likely that the value of parameter p is 0 0.5. The probability function is used to calculate the probability for a certain event where we know the values of our parameters. Whereas the likelihood function is used to estimate the parameter values once we have obtained the data. In our example, where we observed four heads out of eight tosses, we see that the likelihood is maximal when p is equal to 0 0.5. We would therefore estimate p to 0 
If we would like to generate these plots in a statistical software tool R, we'll actually use the same function for the binomial distribution for both plots. If we like to calculate the probabilities for all possible outcomes of the number of heads, for A tosses, with a fair coin where the probability of tossing a head is 0 0.5, then we will calculate the probabilities for observing a certain number of heads. Note the difference from the likelihood, where we have already observed four heads out of eight tosses, and would like to calculate a range of likelihood values when p varies between 0 and 1, with a certain step size of, for example, 0 0.01. By plotting these likelihood values, we can see how the likelihood changes as a function of p. The maximum likelihood estimator is a method that finds the values of the parameters in a model that maximizes likelihood for a given set of data. For example, this shows the likelihood as a function of p based on the fact that we have observed 6 heads out of 8 coin flips. Based on these observations, the most likely value of p seems to be 0 0.75. The coin is no longer considered as a fair coin because the probability to get ahead is no longer equal to 0 0.5. In the next lecture, we'll use the maximum likelihood to estimate the parameters in the inner regression and compare this to ordinary least squares. Thanks for watching.